Okay, now you know how to change the contents of an element and the values of its attributes. What else is left? Well, what if we wanted to change its style? Normally, we would do that in CSS, but there are some times when we want to do that in JavaScript, like when we want to animate styles over time or change them after a user clicks something, which we'll see how to do soon, I promise. Let's change the style of this heading. If we did that in CSS, it would look like this. Pound heading to select by ID, and then we'll say color orange. Ta-da! It's orange, just like the cat. Now, to do that in JavaScript, we first find the heading element, which we have here. Then, we're going to access its style attribute with dot style. Then, we access the property that we're interested in, color, and set it equal to the new value. Let's delete the property in CSS to see if it worked. Yep, it worked. Now notice down here, we've got two dots because we're actually accessing two objects. One of them is the element object and the other is the style object that contains all the styles for that element as different properties. What if we also wanted to change the background color of that heading? In CSS, it would be background-color-black. Let's try that in JavaScript. So heading l.style.background-color equals black. Uh-oh, we have an error. This is actually invalid JavaScript because property names can't contain hyphens. Instead, we need to convert this CSS property name to a form that's valid JavaScript, which we do by camel casing it. Remove the hyphen and capitalize the C. And let's go test it out by deleting this property here. And yep, it's still black. Now that I'm getting fancy, I want to make the heading center line too. So I will add one more line down here. Heading L dot style dot text align, which we camel case, will center. Once again, we camel case it since it was two words with a hyphen before, and now we've got this heading that looks like our cat and also like Halloween. Yay!